right, man. Uh, I'm okay. How are you? I'm pretty good. Pretty good. It was a long day today, but you know, yeah. I finally get to unwind. So yeah, my, mine was dragging again too. I, I feel that. Yeah, there's just something about like when you want to finally get home, and that lasts like 20, 30 minutes just feel like an hour. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel that. And I do the thing where I look at my phone like a hundred times. Oh my like, god! Yes, like, I do that shit all the time. And then like, if I have a second, I like check Twitter, but I'll do it like three times in five minutes, as if like yeah, it's, it's the worst. Yeah. Um. So today I want to bring up something. Uh, have you heard about the? Do you read Amazing Spider-Man by any chance? Um, I tried to read it when the reboot happened, but I never. Never kept up. Cause... Okay, so do you mind if I tell you what's going on no. in the newest thing? Because I think it. you'll enjoy it. So, Peter Parker is broke AF, right? Mm-hmm. And he's working for a company who made him a suit, right? And the suit live streams everything that he can see in first person. Oh, God. And he takes, like, when he takes the villains out, uh, he asks the audience for suggestions for, like, catchphrases. How to come That's, in and start kind of Isn't it just screwball from the game? <laughs> yeah. It's just... It's essentially... Um, it's weird because, like, when you think... He needs money by it. It's, he doesn't agree with this, by the way. He just needs money. Okay. Um, uh, hold on. I'm trying to find a picture so I can show you the outfit. And, uh... Yeah, I don't, the I don't outfit, know. But, 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 that's, like, the TikTok trend that's been going around. Of how, like... Which one? Uh, it's, like, cops' body cam should be live-streamed. And, yep. And it's just the people being like, Sir, do you know why I pulled you over? Thank you, Pussymaster649, for the three-month subscription. Like, shit like that. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, man. So, um... And this one, he keeps... He takes suggestions as he's taking people out. Uh-huh. Uh, for, like, catchphrases or, like, a way to do it. And everything he sees, you can see, right? Oh, so God. here's where I saw the flaw in this right away. What happens when he meets one of his friends and they're like, hey, Peter. And now... Like, yeah, that, that's entire, a big thing uh, I was thinking yeah. about. Um, yeah. And yeah. the outfit's not doing it any favors, by the way. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm trying to find it right now. <clears throat> um, I, I like the outfit. I think people are overreacting. Um, okay. I think it's because it's not the regular, like, uh, it's not the traditional um, red and blue. Okay. Oh, you know what am I doing? It's on my phone. I can just send it to you. Uh, it's not the traditional, like, color for the outfit. Right. But uh, I just sent it three, to you. Uh, so oh, his, his eyes I saw are camera this. lenses. So Dude, it's, isn't I, it sick? Or I like think? it. There's one thing I don't like about it. And the yeah. eyes, I, I never knew if it was, like, a reflection, but there's, like, I saw a picture of this from head on. Yeah. And the eyes had, like, little white dots. And I'm like, man, if you got rid of that, uh, honestly, I'm not a huge fan of just, like, the, the yellow dots in the eyes at all. I, I, I think if they yeah. were, like, the full lenses with yellow, it would be better. Yeah. But, uh, like, the general, uh, the face part aside, the general suit looks sick. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So people are hating it because it has no red, or it, it's not like the genetic webbed. But I think that for what this is, this is genius. Uh, I think the idea is genius because now they can have the enemy stream snipe Spider Man essentially, so they know yeah. what's onto them. I bet that because be this a, is being streamed uh, to the thing. public. Yeah, I, uh, I'm sure that'll be like a, a plot point at some point. Yeah, but so far <laughs> I'm liking it. I like the outfit. I dig the color scheme. And I like the idea. I think the concept is pretty nice. I think uh, and, I, I think we need more superheroes with like like white in their outfit. I feel like we had a lot of black and a lot of these crazy colors, and I feel like yeah. nowadays, like it's modern to have this almost like clean element to it, you know? Yeah. Or, or like it needs to look sleek. So here's my theory: um, a lot of outfits use black because it's easy. I learned why. I was watching mm. a show on Hero Theory. Uh, and it's essentially like it's hard to bring vibrant colors into a realistic world and still make it look badass. Mm-hmm. For example, uh, the reason we never saw the green or the green, the yellow and black suit for Wolverine is because they didn't know a way to make it fluent when everybody else is wearing leather, 
leather black, right? And I was like, okay, right now, right away, there's a flaw. The flaw being, don't give everybody leather black. You know what I mean? Right. Like, you know how, like, the X-Men comics from the 80s where they wore the, the yellow outfit to the blue? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if, if all of the X-Men wore that outfit, then Wolverine wouldn't look out of place. But it's because you give them all leather black outfits yeah. that, of course, when you give the one character who's not supposed to wear that, uh, his outfit, he's going to look goofy. Because there's a picture of, uh, there's an actual picture that I remember seeing of uh, Hugh Jackman in that outfit. Oh, yeah. And I personally think it looked badass, but there I can a, see why people... I think it was at the end of the Wolverine, the second yeah. thing, where like, the, like the after credit scene was they show the helmet. Yeah, 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 and, yeah. And yeah. like... So, so my thing is with the I don't mind the original X Men movies. I know they're not great, but yeah. considering what we were dealing with, it was like, hey, superheroes. Um, I I would have liked it better. Maybe this is because I like Power Rangers and stuff. But like, if they had like the black leather outfits and then the like detailing color was different for everyone, right? Yeah. So like maybe Cyclops's was a blue, Wolverine's was a yellow, you know, Storm's was a white, like something like that would have been cool. But uh. But yeah, I don't know. I'm not a costume designer, so. I think they missed the mark by not doing that. I think yeah. that I, well, it, when you have these characters, individual. yeah, yeah, like when you have these characters, I think it's very important to not only bring them to life, but I think it's also very important to portray them in their natural like state and who they are and what they are. Mm-hmm. And I think that Hugh Jackman has earned the role. I think Hugh Jackman's a better casting than Robert Downey Jr.'s Iron Man. Like, Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. Hugh Jackman fit. The, like, yeah. He, yeah. He was, like, it, just something about his face, like, worked. Um, my favorite yeah. thing is that, like, uh, <laughs> it, um, sometimes, you know how, like, they jumped around the timeline with those movies? Yeah. Uh, my favorite thing is that X-Men 1 Wolverine is less jacked than, like, Wolverine Origins Wolverine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because he didn't know what direction to go. And they were like, let's just yeah. make him this like muscly fucking heartthrob type instead of like this hairy, tiny Canadian man with anger issues. Mm-hmm. I, you... I oh, personally, God. I think Wolverine. So my first comic book ever was a Spider-Man comic and it, it tethered into Avengers eventually. Mm-hmm. And I, and uh, my first Avenger comic ever Wolverine was part of the Avengers. Cause yeah. it was, uh, it was uh, Wasp, Wolverine, Iron Man, uh, Hawkeye, and somebody's escaping my mind. There's one more. And it wasn't like one of the big heroes either. Uh, oh, no, it was Mr. Fantastic, yeah. And that was like my first Avenger comic. And I was like, wait, Wolverine's in the Avengers? Like when I was yeah. younger. And then I ended up loving Wolverine until the movies came out. And like I love Hugh Jackman and I love his uh, portrayal. It's not him. It's the movies. Yeah. Because the X-Men movies are just Logan 1, 2, and 3, essentially. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's the main character, and that, that sucks. Um, and and even in the Days of Our Future Past, they somehow found a way to keep <laughs> yeah. keeping to keep him as, like, the main thing. Um, have you heard the theory, or read the theory online, why, why Wolverine wears the yellow suit? Why? Uh, so the idea is that, like, because we know Logan. Logan's not a heartless guy. He's just an asshole. Yeah. And, uh... Yeah. And so the idea is that, like, most of the X-Men teams consist of, like, kids, like, teenagers. Yeah. So the idea is that they wear, like, these darker-ish colors, and then Wolverine wears his bright yellow, black, and blue suit to attract, like, fire, pretty much, because he's, he's, he'll heal it off. Okay, I see where you're getting at. I like that. Which, like, yeah, I'm like, you know what, that is, like, the small, like, little, like, here's the nice thing I'm doing for everyone thing Logan would probably do. He, he, like, wouldn't say it. He would never bring it up. But he'd be like, well, whatever, give me the stupid suit, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I like that. That yeah. That's... Um, so I'm glad you clarified the Spider-Man thing, because when you sent, like, the list of topics, uh, I was really confused by Peter Parker as a streamer now. I was sitting here thinking, <laughs> like, oh, my God, did, like, Tom Holland make a Twitch? Or, like, Andrew <laughs> Garfield or something? Like, who made a Twitch? <laughs> uh... Let's go. Do you? Uh, so I have two more topics, which is the special guest and mm-hmm. Marvel Phase Four. Do you want to do the guest first? Because I feel like Phase Four is probably going to be our biggest topic. Sure. Um, what? When you so say do you have a special guest? What are we for? Talking? Like the podcast. Like if we can have them in, come in and. Uh, uh, who you want to I, like I, I guess have? Like what scale? 
of like people we know. Any, anybody, anybody. Like fan, so like fantasy podcast. No, 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 no. Like actual, like oh. realistic people. Okay. I mean, you know what? I'll let you do one fantasy because I do have one. One fantasy. I'd want to talk to like, I think anyone from like Critical Role or anyone D and D. I would love to sit down and be like, can we talk D and D? Can we talk like D and D and like this shit? So, like, like yeah. I stopped watching Critical Role, I'm not because it's bad, Yeah. because my favorite wrestler has a show called Critical Botch, uh, <laughs> and I couldn't do with both shows, I get that. so I pick, obviously I picked the one with the, everybody, I know everybody in Critical sure. Botch, and they're huge fans, and they actually even had, uh, what's his name on the show, uh, Mercer? Yeah. So. I, uh, I, uh, um, I'm trying to think. What I was trying to say there, I uh, I I stopped and I was like, oh, I just I, I fell out of it for. I was watching, consi- I was like listening to it consistently for a long time, like more yeah. or less since campaign two started, and uh, and then around the episode like one twenty or something, I was like, oh, I'll I'll catch up later, like I just kind of fell out of a mood, and uh, now they're on like one thirty something, <laughs> and I haven't uh... I haven't listened, so I'll definitely have to catch up at some point. So that's my problem with watching podcasts sometimes is yeah. that um, I hate when a podcast gets too far off. So, for example, there's a podcast I like called uh, If I Were You, and it's an advice podcast. Mm-hmm. And I started watching religiously all the way to 30, and then I took a break. Mm-hmm. And then I came back, and they're in the 200s. And I'm like, <sighs> yeah. do I just pick up? So I try watching from the newest episode. That's that's. But n- there's so many inside jokes that oh. I'm not getting. Like, they were talking, and one of them said, Olive Garden, and, like, everybody in the room starts laughing, and I'm like, what yeah. the fuck does that mean? Yeah, that sucks. Uh, um, guests. I don't know. I mean, like, I think the obvious, like, I, I mean, I talk to these guys almost every night, but, like, Danny, Chris, and Kanai, I love having conversations with them. Yeah. Um, trying to think who else we get interesting stuff out of. Uh, I feel like um, Wes. I do Monster Hunter with Wes. Uh, even he he'd probably have some fun stuff. Uh, Phantom Composer. I don't know how much you. She's been a yeah. fan of like since way back with Couch Gnomes, but she'd be a fun one. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking of, like people I'd want to t- like. I, we could have an interesting conversation with. Um, okay, that's not bad. I uh, celebrity route. If I have to go a celebrity route. Uh, I would definitely like to have uh, Chris Hanworth. I think he'll be fun. Okay. On podcast. Um, I think another person that I think will be pretty fun uh, to have will be um, the voice actor or the voice actress for uh, fuck, I forgot her name for Nami. She's oh, pretty good at okay. her job. Yeah, I've I've been a fan of her work for a while now. I forgot her name recently, but uh, just forgot her name. But um, do you, do you ever think she's of like fun. for shits and giggles sending them like DMing someone on Twitter like Pro ZD or something? So I as so of right now, I have two people lined up, but the problem is is that they keep pushing the date because they're busy. Because now with like quarantine not being as strict, they're getting more job. Right. So one of the people I reached out to is a voice actor. And, like, I don't want to be that person who's like, hey, are you still available? You know what I mean? So I'm, like, giving them some time before I write back. Yeah. And the other person set in stone. It's just a matter of when we do it. Oh, man. You're, you're going to send me the voice. I'm, I'm curious who these people are. And, like, uh, with the once a guy and once a girl. Uh, the one with a guy, I want you to be there because I think it will be one that you enjoy. I, I would love, you know, think, speaking of the, uh, now you got me thinking. And I'm sorry. That means it's going to fire off. Um, uh, Gaijin Hunter? Yeah. He'd be cool. I mean, he lives in Japan, so his hours would be wacky, but, like, he'd be cool to have on and be like, yo, man, I love, like, I, w- I would just want to thank that guy, because I think he's a big reason I love Monster Hunter, because I had no idea what the fuck was happening until he started making content. He has been a stable, uh, of mine, a staple of mine. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. Uh... He's been a staple of mine whenever I want to pick up a new weapon. Yeah, his his tutorials are great. Yeah. Um, and I like it because he doesn't use lingo talk, which is the problem that I have. It's when people use the lingo, like Monster chill. Hunter lingo. 
Yeah, he's very chill, and, and he, he... I took a lot of my mentality with Monster Hunter from him, because he was very much like, I just want more people to like this game. Yeah. Because I love this game, and I want more people to love it. So, yeah, I, I definitely took my mentality for Monster Hunter from him, which is why when World came out, I'm like, you should try it, but, like, try every weapon so you find one that's comfortable. Don't go with what you think is cool right away, and, you know, that was a lot of stuff. One I of my viewers... Up. One of my uh, viewers and good friend uh, picked it up, and he's playing way more than I am. So he's, like, super up. Is Diego? It, uh, huh? Diego? Yeah! Yeah, yeah, Dude. Yeah, yeah. That so guy... he, this is his first one. Yeah, And he's... I've been... When World came out, oh. I was like, bro, you gotta play World. You gotta play World. Well, when uh, this one came out, he ended up getting getting this one. Yeah. And tell me why, in one week, this dude doubled my Hunter rank easily. Right? Yeah. I, he came into Monster Hunter Monday, and he uh, he was saying, like, yeah, I'm Hunter rank 100. I'm like, damn. Fuck. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's going off. Like, good for him. Yeah, he... I'm glad he likes it. Yeah. Yeah, and like he he texted me the other day, like thanking me for getting him into it, and I was like, I was like, ah 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 ah. Yeah, ah. It's, it's it's what it feels working. like, right? Like, yeah, yeah. I don't even. Yeah, like... I learned that if I talk, I learned that if I talk about something long enough, people will start uh, getting into it. Yeah, they'll, uh, they'll give it a chance. It, usually, one of my good friends recently just hit me up, and he's like, "So how do I get started on Black Clover?" And I was like. <laughs> I subliminally have been talking about Black Clover to this one person on purpose. <laughs> and now they're like, then they came to me and asked, like, how do I get started? I just casually said, yeah, you can just watch the anime. That's fine. Like, yeah. trying to act like it's not a big deal. Yeah, I, uh, I, I just got back. So, um, there's the Yu Gi Oh game on Steam, the, uh, Legacy of the Duels. Links. Oh, okay. Uh, so can I and Chris have been. Had, got it and we're playing it and uh, can I talk me into getting it because it was on sale so now I'm trying to play Yu-Gi-Oh again and let me tell you man I I love it I, I just don't like reading that much <laughs> I'm with you I feel like um, every card's like at least a paragraph <laughs> so 100% I feel you on that because so I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh when I was in Florida um, I actually used to go to tournaments and everything Mm -hmm. Yu-Gi-Oh was my first like actual trading card game that I fell in love with. I mm -hmm. started playing it when I was like eleven or twelve, and I played it all the way to like nineteen. Okay. And I loved it. I was very involved in the scene. When I left Florida, I decided that I was done playing, so I grabbed like seven black trash bags, threw away all my cards, and I took a break. Well, I recently okay. bought uh, Legacy of the Duelist for the Switch, mm -hmm. um, and there's so many new things that I didn't know about that I was forced to adapt. And obviously, I adapted. I'm playing now, and I play I, religiously. I play about, I, without exaggeration, I do, I, I at least play three times a week. Okay. Um, but when I went against Chris, um, I noticed that there is a gap now in yeah. skill. Because Chris, uh, and this is the thing with Yu-Gi-Oh! that a lot of people don't understand, is the more card knowledge you have, the better you are at the game. And by that, I mean, the more cards you can memorize, the better you're going to get out of the game because you're going to be able to create combos faster yes. than you can look something up and make the deck. So if you can read a card and go like, oh, this card will be great and this, this, and this, rather than looking it up, you're a better player already. I, and uh, when I play against Chris, it's... Yeah. So Chris is my toughest opponent because he's very well-versed in Yu-Gi-Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, he reminds me of when I used to play, where I was like... I stopped playing when uh, after Synchrons. So XYC, so I, I was going to say, I, uh, I know up to Synchro. Like, yeah, like, that was me, basically. And, and I like Synchro. I think Synchro... I thought I was going to hate Synchro because it was like the new thing. Synchro yeah. makes sense to me and is a cool mechanic and I like it. Yeah, I love it. And uh, Synchrons are my favorite thing. But then, like, um, I get back, and now you have, like, XYCs, links, don't pendulums, don't even, and all I don't, this crazy stuff. I don't stuff. know pendulum. I don't understand pendulum. I don't know if I want to know pendulum. So I purposely don't use pendulums. I don't like them. So I'll skip them. Even if it makes my deck better, I just skip them. Because yeah. I don't like the idea of them. But uh, out of all my friends, uh, Chris is always my favorite to go against. Because, like, when I go against him, it's like, he knows way more than I do. Like, like I'm a child next to him. And after the match, it's not like, haha, you fucking suck, you pussy. It's always like, hey, you should add this card or this, this, and this. Yeah, and it's, it's kind of nice. Yeah. Yeah. And then, like, I don't have that a lot when I play card games. So it's nice to have somebody that um, 
does that and like uh, like admiral plays Yu-Gi-Oh as well that that's how we met we met playing Yu-Gi-Oh so like mm -hmm. we got the games and we recreated the decks that we had when we were kids and we've been having a lot of fun with it honestly yeah no it's 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 fun but yeah that's totally what happens to me is uh, they'll talk me into getting a game or something um, yeah, well, that was uh, that was essentially a Monster Hunter World because mm -hmm. you you weren't shut the fuck up about the game. Yeah. So I got the game, and then it was Danny and Kanai, and then they fucking stopped playing, and I'm like, what the fuck? So I bought the game, and then they stopped playing. And it was yeah. like three days after the game came out. Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck? And then like me and you played for a while, and then I I was able to get like a couple other people into it. I was able to get uh, uh I think I got. Dante and I ended up getting Admiral and I even got uh Brit and I was able to get a couple people into Monster Hunter World which was kind of right. nice because then like these games are only fun when you play with people in my opinion oh, yeah. yeah no that's the most like I mean I'll grind solo but like playing with people is way way better um yeah um so let's do a little transition here okay. to phase four because uh we have a lot <laughs> to unwind here let me pull yeah. up the lineup because I think I know who the big baddie is for this uh, phase four. And I think he says transition into phase five. Okay. Uh, the, well, the one makes me think I have an idea. Who Do you want to guess right away who I think it is? I, is it Mandarin? No, no. Okay. Not even. Because, like, I, actually, cause I, I could totally see them doing, like, both, like... You know, in Iron Man 3, he's like, oh, I am the Mandarin. But it's like, you're not the fucking Mandarin. <laughs> like, get the fuck out of here. So I honestly think, because they have to come up with somebody that's more fearsome than uh, I, so Thanos. I, I think they have to come up with someone who's magic. I think that's the thing. I think Thanos, because phase... So we're kind of on the same... So just so you know, we're kind of on the okay. same path. So phase 1 through 3 was very much like, here's space and sci-fi... And then we'll introduce Doctor Strange. The big three. A little bit of magic, you know. We're, we'll, we'll we'll tease you with the magic, but that's about it, right? And then yep. we've had WandaVision, which has pretty much said like, no, Wanda is magic. We have um, Doctor Strange two coming out. Uh, Shang Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Totally seems like there's going to be some some like kung fu magic at play. Yep, which I love. Oh, absolutely. Um, yeah, no, it, I, I think we're going to go into a more magical kind of thing and we will need more, uh, a more magical enemy. So I, I'm just going to flat out say, I think Dr. Doom. Uh, they uh, are bringing in four, aren't they? So four is the last thing in the list. Right. And, it, and it's very clearly the Fantastic Four logo. And not only that, uh, not only it's four, the last thing, it also happens to be, uh, so it's, uh, sorry, I lost my brown thought because my computer shut down and I thought I lost everything. So not only is it uh, Fantastic Four, the last thing on the list, I am thinking, I was like, I used to read the comics, I used to play the game. Uh, now with comics, I always read random comics. I never read the actual Fantastic Four, mm -hmm. but I know that Doctor Doom. It's more than just a fan, than a Fantastic Four. He actually is like a main villain. Oh yeah, way more fearsome than uh, Thanos. I mean, oh yeah, he's, he makes I, Thanos look like shit. I would say he's the worst. And he's a human, which I think it's it fits so mm -hmm. nice to have an actual human uh, as a villain, because we haven't had that in a while. A lot of our villains have been the big three essentially. <laughs> I love that so, we're using that. For anyone who doesn't know and hasn't watched Falcon and Winter Soldier, the big three is oh, was yeah. it aliens, uh, was it aliens, wizards. cyborgs, wizards. And wizards. Yeah. Aliens, robots, and wizards. Yeah. So I think that I think that Doom's gonna be uh, the the big villain of Phase Four, and it's gonna build up to it. I think that he's gonna be the big villain. And then, uh, so you know how we got Spider-Man in Civil War before we got Far From Home? Yeah. I think we're going to see the events of Fantastic Four take place before their movie. So that way they can only use, they only have to use like 10, 15 minutes of their actual movie to give us an origin story. I could see them uh, touching on it, like maybe like a news broadcast, like, oh, space team goes down, and it, like, you know. Yeah. After all, like. So my question is, do you think they're going to change the origin of 4 to be more magical, or do you think it's still going to be this cosmic radiation? 
I think it's going to be cosmic radiation. Okay. I think I think it will be cosmic radiation, but I also think that cuz Doom does fuck around with magic a lot. Like oh, yeah. a lot of the people he surrounds himself with are magic. And right now we have Agnes and then we have uh we're about to be introduced to so many more characters so, so in the next my couple next movies. Question. Do which, you what, think which was what? Which what? The cosmic radiation will be from magic because yes. they yes. said in WandaVision it's like all this radiation and stuff blah blah blah. Yep, I think that, um, so the way I look at it is, the way I see is, they're going to use some fuckery to give him, to give them cosmic powers, the way that they gave Pietro and Wanda their mm-hmm. powers with the stones, uh, well, I, I guess Wanda with the stone, I think they might do something similar, because we still, the connection between Vision and Wanda, other than it's the stone, has never been explained, you know what I mean? Right. Uh, so I think, I generally think, also, I noticed that through the entirety of, uh, phase four, there's no Avenger movies, right? Which I thought was very, very fitting. At least none announced um, yet, yeah. Because you need to make the team first. Because before we had Avengers, we had Captain America, we had Thor, we had Iron Man. Yeah. Like, you had to create the actual team. Well, Throughout those same movies, mm-hmm. you gave us... Black Widow, Hawkeye, you proceeded to introduce other characters that ended up making it into the movie, like Hulk, Hawkeye, Black Widow. So I think that if they're going to go the route of creating a team, then they need to give us the solo films before they just throw in, like, Avengers, whatever it's so, going yeah, on. I, I, and, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, it no, just feels ahead. like we're... So Phase 3, obviously, was, was uh, you know, the big path was Endgame and Infinity War. Um. And it feels like we're we're almost at the winding down of an arc, right? Like like the epilogue, yeah. and uh, these shows are like that in between, like the, like the end of this wind down of like, hey, here's what happened to Wanda. You know, after the events, here's what happened to uh, Bucky and Sam. Uh, Loki is going to be like, here's what happened to this Loki, who's now in this whole different timeline. Um, I don't think that's gonna last. I think it'll stay a show. I think I think I, he's gonna be. So here's my theory, uh, and it's because I'm a huge uh, one Amanda Waller fan. Mm-hmm. I think that Loki's gonna do everything in his power to fix whatever problems happen in his show, mm-hmm. and it's gonna end with him getting coming to our reality, getting captured, and being put on the raft. Right now, there's Simo and. Uh, Simo, and there's somebody else there that's escaping my mind. Oh, uh, we don't know where Vulture is, right? And they just introduced John Walker as the U.S. agent, right? So, uh, did you have you ever heard about the Thunderbolts? Yeah, and it's run by Ross. And yep. So it's essentially like just the Suicide Suicide Squad version of Marvel. Right. I think Loki will be needed for that, and I think it, it'll be very fitting Could for be him to be because then you can have like. Obviously, John, who's like moral compass, is kind of fucked up. And then you have Loki, who he's super fucked up, manipulative. Then you have Simo, who's a fucking genius. Uh, if Vulture's there, my theory is Vulture's in the raft. But if my theory is correct and Vulture is in the raft, then now you have like the tech guy. And like, I think it, it's very nice. And it, I think it, it fits the, the idea. I know Vulture's kind of an older man in here. But. At the same time, like, tech can kind of do a lot. And if they do a movie where it's, like, Thunderbolts versus Avengers, then you have, like, you'll have Loki to go against whoever the fuck you want him to go against. But then now you have somebody to to counter uh, Falcon. Not in not in so much in, like, strength, but in technology. Because the, uh, right. the Vulture suit was alien tech and... I think it's kind of nice, the idea of it. I've been playing around with the idea of, like, I was like, oh, I really like that. Like, the Thunderbolts. And there's so many characters, like, other villains that they can add to this uh, eventually. Especially all these shows or all these movies coming out. They can add to that until they, like, eventually there's something fucked up that they need done. The Avengers can't do it. So they sent these guys instead, which is pretty nice. And uh, they already showed the mask with Simo. So they kind of, like, cock us a little right. bit. So... That's the route that I think we're going to go. There's nothing on any of these movies say anything that that might happen. That could be a Phase 5 thing, maybe. I think that's too wishful thinking. But I do think that uh, 
putting these characters in the raft is going to pay off. Yeah. I, th- I think we'll see either Thunderbolt. Well, I mean, they're setting up Thunderbolt. But, um, yeah. Yeah. I, I think we'll see some villain team up of some kind. Which, by the way, that never happened in any of the phases. A villain one of my team favorite up? things, it, yeah, my, one of my favorite things are when villains team up, right? Uh, I love the League of Villains in, in DC. Mm-hmm. I love when villains work together because think, you get uh, to see like. I, I think someone's going to argue the the Loki Thanos team up like in the first Avengers. I, I wouldn't argue yeah. that. I wouldn't count that because they weren't work like directly working together. Loki, yeah. Kind of became, <laughs> excuse me, kind of became like a henchman. Yeah. Um, I had hiccups all day. I don't know what the deal is. Like, <laughs> see, for me, the way I look at it, it's like when I talk of a team up, I'm talking about like the way the Avengers are a team. I would love to have a villain team that's very similar to like, like imagine Agnes. Uh, imagine if like they brought back like Whiplash and then I don't know where we have like, um, like Loki and then and then they're, they're together in person wrecking shit. You know what I mean? So now the Avengers have to split up. Because right well, now the only Avenger we have is uh, War Machine, right? Uh, no, I mean you got because Hawkeye's retired. Right. Well, you got the now Captain America. Is he an Avenger he though? An is Avenger. he just Captain America? Is he? Yeah. Falcon. Falcon was an Avenger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm thinking about something. I was. I don't know why. I was thinking of John Walker when you said that. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck is he talking um, about? Okay, so we have. We have him, and then we have uh, War Machine. Spider-Man. So he was never an official Avenger. He, he got christened. Tony christened Dude, him. in outer space, nobody knows about it. Yeah, <laughs> Tony knows about it, and he was a founding member. And there's nobody to tell them that... Uh, Dr. No, I'm not going to argue too Dr. much this Strange? case, though. I'm, that's what I was going to say. I'm not going to argue that too much. Um, but I, I had a conversation with the other day about, about that, about how many Avengers are there left. And the the... Spider-Man was brought up, and it was, like, a little... It was kind of weird, because, like, yes, Tony basically knighted him. But there's nobody there for evidence, and Doctor Strange is not an Avenger yet. Yeah, I, I was about to say, uh... I was about to say Ant-Man, but he's not really an Avenger, officially. He's a wannabe Avenger. <laughs> I feel so bad, because Scott, like... Paul Rudd he's a as fan. Scott Lang is maybe one of my favorite, like, MCU yeah. characters... Because he feels yeah. like the act, like him and Spider Man, like him and Tom Holland, nail the like quippy like. Char- yeah, I, I love him so much. Um, so I hate that he gets so, shit on so much. Uh, Hulk is did still you, around. Did you ever notice crippled. whenever he calls Captain America and Cap and uh, Wasp is like, did you just call him Cap? So, yeah, we're friends. Yeah. You know, Cap. And then like in Avengers Endgame, uh, she says. Uh, he gives her like an order, and she's like, "Yes, Cap." And I was like, "Oh, oh, uh, that's funny." She's I doing it too. Um, yeah, I, I only know because of TikTok pointed it out. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think Doom's gonna be the villain. I think we're gonna see it like maybe two to three movies. You're gonna hear about like a shuttle going into space, and then like two three movies later, we're gonna hear about like them coming back or whatever. I'm interested to and, see how Black Widow goes because that's a prequel. Well, so here's what I heard. Uh, take what I'm saying with a grain of salt. Sure. Black Widow's only there to introduce her replacement. I forgot her name. Uh, it's being played by Mila, Mila Djokovic's daughter. Let me look it up right now. Um, so Mila Djokovic has a daughter. And she's the star. Memories. Sorry. I know. I know. I, I heard this and it made me cry because I was like, fuck! So from what I heard, this movie's being... Uh, the only reason this movie's in the past is so that they can introduce a certain character that's supposed to be her replacement. Uh, she won't be, like, Black Widow 2. She's going to be her own character. I don't know who this character is, because I never heard of it. Again, I always read comics, but I was very casual with it. I'm not, like, a hardcore comic guy. Mm-hmm. And, uh, basically, this character's meant to be, like, the badass, like, heroine part of the team. You know, so on, so on. And I don't know how true this is, but it's supposed to be her replacement. Because, obviously, she's dead, and they're not bringing her back. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, I just like, because they're introducing Taskmaster with it, and... Yeah, I'm excited for that, by the way. Yeah, I am too. I just, it feels weird to, like, do that in a prequel and then never hear about him. Um, 
Yeah, I just, I don't know. I, I'm interested to see this movie. I mean, we've also waited, like, two years for it. Yeah. Because it was supposed to be um, right after Infinity War, I think. Yeah, so it's in post-production right now, yeah. even though they just announced it. And there's somebody, a Florence Pa. she's playing Jelena Venova, who does become Black Widow, apparently. Okay. She's, yeah. But, I think that's going to be weird, uh, is we're, we're entering the phase where we're now going to see a lot of mantle passes. Yeah. Because uh, we have so, to. Um, you, so this is my favorite thing. I hate DC for one. I love DC. DC's one of my, I like DC way more than Marvel, right? Okay. Here's my gripe. They're so afraid to pass the mantle. Everybody loves Dick Grayson. Just let him be fucking Batman. Every comic book that he's been Batman in, he's been fucking amazing. But they don't have the balls to pull the trigger because they know sales will go down when they hear that Bruce Wayne is not Batman anymore. But right. the thing is, is that sales will go down at first until hype starts being generated. So, like, in, in a lot of hero comic, video game, and stuff like that, mantles don't get passed over. I promise you right now that if you release a game like Arkham Knight and you get to play as Damien instead and fuck shit up, people will love that game. If you do it with based on Red Hood or, like, uh, Dick Grayson or any of the other, like, characters, people will love that because when you're a video game comic or, like, a uh, cartoon watcher, you fall in love with these characters that you never to get to see in the big screen. Uh, I don't think we'll ever have Nightwing on the big screen, if I'm being honest. Uh, like... I know we have a TV show, but I'm talking about like actual movies because I don't think Warner Brothers has the balls to not use Batman, like not use the name Bruce Wayne. Right. Uh, because to a casual fan, that's who Batman is, even though like we know there's been multiple people who pick up the mantle. So Mar Marvel is actually doing this, and I'm very happy because uh, even in the comics, like Peter Parker, he passes mantle to Miles. Uh, Miss Marvel passed her mantle to Kamala Khan. Um Captain America has passed his mantle to over seven people. I, so, like... He's, yeah. Speaking of Miss Marvel... I like that. I fucking... I, it took me so long to realize that the Marvels... I was so, I was so confused when I saw Marvels, right? Yeah. Because I was like, what, what is this? What, I didn't get it. Dude, Until I'm I realized so the for S was Kamala Khan's. Yep. So, here's my thing. I love Kamala. I hate Brie Larson. As an actress, I think she. I want to give her. I don't like her as an actress. Okay. I don't think she portrayed the movie good. But I'm not. I'm not gonna say. By okay, let me rephrase this because I'm using a lot of keywords here. I don't hate Brie Larson. I don't like her work as much as I probably I, should. I. I don't know why. I did. But I'm willing to give this a chance. I didn't like Captain Marvel in Endgame. I didn't either. Yeah. I didn't mind her movie. I didn't because when she was like a jerk in the movie, it made sense, right? Yeah. Like, okay, great. This makes sense. What bugged me to hell is when she shows up in Endgame and she's like, and people are going to get mad at me for saying this, but I don't care. She's bitchier in the movie, Endgame, than she was in her and, fucking, like, original movie. Dude, she's giving fucking orders. But, what, not like, only that, like, but she's, like, acting all, like, I'm hot shit. And, like, honestly, what bugged me the most is, like, Iron Man can do that because we've been on Iron Man through this 12-year journey, right? Or however long now. Like, we've been on, on with Iron Man for almost a decade. By Endgame, Iron Man was allowed to be a fucking dick, right? Yep. Captain America, mm -hmm. if he wanted to, could have been a dick. And we would have been like, yeah, get him, Cap. The issue is yeah. to bring Captain Marvel in. She had one movie. That was the last time we saw her. And then she shows up in Endgame. Right. Yep. No interaction, by the no way. No interaction with, the rest with of the anyone. Crew. And they explain it at yep. the end of Captain Marvel. I'm not saying that's a problem. I'm just saying no interaction. And then you come in and she's like, this, like, fuck all of you. None of you do your job right. I'm the one actually doing the work here. And it's like, fuck you, bitch. What are you doing? Well, I think the, be I think one of the best scenes is when she's giving orders and then Roddy, uh, Rody, it's like, hey, lady, we're, we do the superhero thing too. You're not the only one. And then she's like, She's like, you're not the only planet. I'm like, yes, bitch, but they, they're they humans, and yeah, they're fucking yeah, doing hey, a good job. Yeah, we're like, not the only planet, but a lot of shit's happened to this planet. <laughs> like, yeah, like Thor Thor saved multiple realms. Yeah. So, so that, and Earth. that's just what bugged me, and, and I learned later that it wasn't necessarily her fault, because apparently they shot Endgame before Captain Marvel. Yeah. Or at least her scenes. So I'm like, okay, I'll give her benefit of the doubt. She didn't really know what direction the character was going. Maybe like it. 
I, I will not put that on Brie Larson. I don't think they handled Captain Marvel great, because Captain Marvel is now the fucking Superman. Yep. And uh, I can't tell you how much I want it, and I hate to say this because I want to root for the heroes. I can't tell you how much I wanted her to like go one on one with Thanos, like she was saying, and get her shit wrecked. I yeah. just wanted him to and choke slam thing. her into the ground and then like <laughs> and, and be like, yeah, good. Good. Hulk couldn't beat him. Shut up. Like So here's I, I'm a hundred percent on your side here, and I think that there's a good way that can fix her character. And I think is and I there's two arguments. The argument is that she's always been at the top. Like she was already strong, mm -hmm. but you know, her memory is bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. My thing that's not the problem. The problem is that she's not very She's her, as a character, she wasn't very likable, and I don't blame Brie Larson. I Brie, I blame the writers yes. for that because they didn't make her character very likable. They can also added a couple more heroes, or even like they can have added heroes to her story that could have showed up in the future mm -hmm. to put a connection. Because her problem is that she's not connected to the main story in any way she perform, and uh, as a writer, continuity. It's the most important thing in the world, yes. right? So, for example, I just brought this up a couple weeks ago. Where the fuck was Peter Parker during the events of a terrorist attack in New York City? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, where's, where was War Machine? And now, I'm sure 100% these movies are going to explain these things. But in my mind, the first thing, whenever Flag Smasher was in, like, in a, at the end of Falcon, I was like, where's all the heroes that are alive? Yeah, Peter Parker Especially is the ones unless, like... Unless because keep in mind of, this is New York City. Unless the events of Far From Home happened during then. Yeah. Um, so the maybe, only thing is, it's been seven months. How many? How many months has it been after the events of Endgame and Falcon? After the events of End. Uh, well, I know Wandavision was like directly after. Yeah, and because Far From Home was seven um, months. Far From Home is seven months out. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, world returned to normal. It had to be, it had to be a little bit because the world returned to normal and then shit started to happen and, and a lot okay, of okay. So Peter Parker's identity hasn't been revealed yet. Uh, May yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I uh, oh, yeah. Okay, I, I see what you're saying. You're saying uh, wait, Far From Home. I'm mixing them yeah. up. Yeah. The new one's No Way Home, right? The new one's No Way Home. Yes. Okay, I mixed them up. I meant unless the events of No Way Home are happening. No, I guess Far From Home could have happened with Captain. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, okay. it makes no sense. I, I don't know. Yeah, I, I actually don't know. Um, so I'm, I know they're going to explain this in the movies. So I'm not too worried about it. Yeah. But that's why I talk about. I think the reason why Marvel, uh, Marvel cinematics are so nice is because there's so much continuity, right? Uh, an example of this is: Do you remember what uh, what Tony called uh, Thor the first time they fought and Thor hit the shot of him with the hammer? Yeah, he was he was uh, Shakespeare in the Park, right? No, he said, uh, nice arm, point break. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, so, and then, so like... I, I'm thinking when they first meet in the woods, and he's just like... No, no, yeah, yeah, that, that part, yeah, that part. Doth yeah, mother exactly know you said. weareth her drapes? Like, that shit kills me. I love that. <laughs> and then, uh, in, like, like seven movies later, Thor Ragnarok, yeah. you have Thor, when he goes on the ship, and he's trying, like, strongest Avenger. It's like, Axis denied. He's like, damn it, Stark. Yes, he goes, yes, like, point yes. break. And it's like, access, granted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the kind of continuity that Marvel... The reason why... Uh, like, I recently watched Venom. Venom doesn't feel like a Marvel movie because there's no continuity. Yeah. And I learned that Miss uh, or Captain Marvel didn't have that either. Uh, nothing about that movie said that it was part of the MCU other than having... Um, Samuel Jackson. Nick Fury, yeah. Um, I, yeah, I, I don't know. I agree with you. I think the writers handled Captain Marvel very poorly. I would have rather seen her introduced earlier or, like, till after Phase 4 or something. Yeah. But, like, it, or at least in, in Endgame, have a little more focus on her. Because she literally shows up, says some lines. There's, like, an implied, I like, connection. I, I don't even want to say relationship. An implied connection between her and Rhodey, which happens in the comics. And yep. then she fucks off for the rest of the movie. Until yep. the end where she comes and saves the day. And it, so you know what this is? You know when you're playing Monster Hunter and you, yeah. you do an open quest and somebody joins in and then you kill the monster before they can even like mm -hmm. get to you? Mm -hmm. That's what I felt like. Because the whole story is you have the original Avengers from the first movie are fighting this war, right? 
mm-hmm. through each movie, and then she showed up to pick up the scraps and get all the clout, and then that's it. Yeah. I think that's the problem. Man, we were talking about Phase 4, and then we ended up on Captain Marvel. Because I, I brought up Marvels, that's right. But yeah, uh, to, to circle back, Phase 4 looks great. Yeah. I, I can't wait to see what they do. I want to see how they introduce Kamala Khan. Um, hopefully better than the Avengers video game, because I played through the first part of that, and boy, is it rough. Um, I'm about to get it. I know the game's bad, but I'm about to get it anyways, because I actually do want to play through it. I just it. don't... They, they treat the first, like, hour or two as a tutorial, and it's really annoying. Oh, um, uh, okay. But, I'm yeah, it... it uh, hopefully it's... I, I like what they do story-wise in that game. I just don't like a lot of the choices they make okay. otherwise. Um, See, my, my, my issue with... Or not my issue. I'm very excited because you brought Kamala Khan. So we're getting Young Avengers, right? Because we have... So many characters. We have Wanda's kids. We have uh, Isaiah Bradley's kid. We have uh, Peter and Shuri, who are the same age. Um, you think you think Isaiah Bradley's kid's gonna be a thing? Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Because uh, well, I recently just read a comic and he was. Okay. I think it's weird to show a kid and not use him because Marvel's very like particular with their casting. That's fair. And uh, I think that because sh- right now none of the super soldiers have kids. So why not make uh, not why not make this one? You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, so they showed those two. You have Spider Man Shuri who can kind of start there, and then it, it's a little touchy. Uh, I'd rather them not do that, but it's okay. And I then don't know how uh, I feel they about just introduce putting Spider Man on Young Avengers, only because he's because seen of how, some shit. I think they're, they'll put him there as a punishment because uh, <laughs> that happened to Miles, where Miles is like. Full fledged Avenger, and then like Tony punish him and put him in the Young Avengers. Yeah, I, I could see them if they're like, "Hey, they need a leader. You're the leader." And then it's like yeah. this whole like, "Well, I don't know how to be a leader." Blah, blah, blah. And then he's like, "He learns to be leader." Because that, I love the Spider Man movies. That's every Spider Man movie. It's like, "Oh, no, yeah. I, don't, I don't know how to deal with this." And then he learns how to deal with it. That is the plot. <laughs> yeah, that is well, the I learned that plot. the whole plot, the whole plot of Spider Man is that he's not a kid, but he's a kid. Yeah. So like. He hates being treated like a kid, but that's exactly well, it, why he's And that's why I, like. I, I latched on to Spider-Man a lot as a kid was because a lot of those plots were like him growing into his powers and his role and everything. Yep. And I just like that story as a kid. And uh, But yeah, no, that's just every movie. It's like, here's a problem Peter Parker is faced with and he thinks he can't do it. And then he <laughs> learned to do it. <laughs> you think we'll get Nova? Have you met Nova? I Otto? hope so. I, I think Nova's powers are cool. I mean, they introduced the Nova Core. Yep. In Guardians, so but we never saw a helmet. I don't think. No, that's so, what I was asking because I'm like, yeah, if we get Nova, then uh, if we get uh, Nova, then we definitely are getting Young Avengers because like that's yeah. a lot of young people for them to be hiring. Yeah, I, I think I think Nova would be cool. I think Nova, yeah, I think Nova would be cool. Um, uh, one thing I wanted to bring up yeah, is go ahead. I, I like the flex. Uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier did. I don't know if you saw, but uh, on the day the final episode released, yeah, uh, all of Marvel's like official Captain America stuff changed the banner to have Sam Wilson. Yep, I I, I love that a lot. I, I thought that was. Cool I saw that on TikTok. Yeah, it's going to be weird to to call Sam Captain America for a while. I think because he still has, I still want to call him the Falcon. I I honestly kind of wish he just changed his name to like. The eagle or something, right? But like, <laughs> the raptor, the raptor, <laughs> the bald eagle, and then he's like, I'm so not Taurus bald, is gonna man. become Hawk. Taurus is gonna become Falcon, I imagine. Uh, who? Taurus, the guy that was like, yeah. What yeah, about I your wings? He he's like, keep them. Um. So yeah, and he has the wings, so that'd be cool. Um, which like, let me tell you, like Captain America is cool and all. Captain America with wings. Does something when he gets all those combos going, man. Does something. Yo, He's yes, crazy. thank you. Somebody that. had to say it. Like, like, like when he, like the shit when he just sticks the wings in the ground and he's like, nah, you ain't moving me. I love that shit. That that's the shit I like to see because I'm like, that's what a fucking dude with those would do. He wouldn't just fight oh. with a shield on the ground because Falcon, like when he was a Falcon, he never did. He used the wings all the time. Okay, so this is a little bit of a spoiler, but uh, I, I'm reading the cast of uh. Doctor Strange into a multiverse. Do you want to hear it? Sure. Okay. Elizabeth Olsen. Yes. Obviously, Benedict Cumberbatch. Yes. 
Sam Raimi. I'm not excited about that one. Sam Raimi. Wait, is he the director? Yeah. Multiverse is a Raimi movie? Yeah. Oh. Uh, Some girl named Solita Gomez, and guess who she's playing? Who? Miss America. Do you know who that is? Uh, yeah, that's, um, okay. So that's an alternate universe, I'm hoping? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Cause Rachel. Like, if they just introduced another, but that's going to be weird. Yeah. Rachel McAdams has Christine Palmer. I know that name. I can't think of who it is. I uh, me either. Uh, Tom Hiddleton as Loki, obviously. Oh, okay. Um, uh, da -da -da -da. Hold on. It, like, cuts off. Uh, Paul Bethany, obviously. Paul Bethany. I think we saw that one coming. Yeah. And Agnes. I'm not surprised. Agnes has to come back. Um, yeah. I, one thing I hope they do with that is they introduce the idea of runes in, in uh, WandaVision. Yeah. And how that, like, they're pretty much a, a big magical fuck you to any other caster. Yeah. Um, and I hope they keep that rule constant, which I, they're pretty good at. Because, like, I, I love when a magic, like, magic in the MCU has been very much that. It's magic. It can do what it can do. And so, yep. like, when they introduce this hard rule, like, yeah, no, Rune shut down any other magic except the person who made them. I'm like, yes, give me these rules. Like, that is what. Oh, Christine, Christine is, Christine is the love interest for Doctor Strange. Oh, from the original the movie? movie, The Surgeon. Yeah. Oh, okay. And she's kind of fine. Yeah, I, I know the name. Or I, I just couldn't think of the character name. I knew the actress name. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm excited for that movie because it should, uh, should clear up some things, I'm hoping. Is there a movie in this face that you saw? You're like, eh, okay. I'm not as excited for this one, but I'll give it a try. Um, Marvel's. Mine's a hot take, and I hate it because people are going to okay. cut my head yeah, off when they hear it. Black Panther 2. Uh, here's why. Is, is it so they're not Cameron? recasting. <laughs> they're not recasting at all, and I think that's a mistake. I don't know. Um, I, I think, Chad, I, I don't think they... I think fans would, like, riot if they did. But the director and the writers have a story to tell, and we never even scratch the surface of that story. That's true. I think... I don't... And Part keep in mind that a lot don't... of people want Shuri to become Black Panther, but I'm like, she also had her own story that yeah. the the directors even know. said that they have big plans for the actress. So if they make her, if they if they fast track her and make her uh, Black Panther, it's great for the character, horrible for the actress because now she's going to be forced to perform at a level that she's not being eased into. Right now, she's not a main character; she's a supporting role, and it's shown. It's been shown before in movies that when a person goes from main character or from supporting role to main character they don't always adapt very well um i uh, i think sam wilson's character uh did phenomenal adapting to that role mm -hmm. uh but not every actor is as good as him who can like turn that switch on you know what i mean yeah so yeah. i i'm hoping with the title of wakanda forever yeah it's a little bit more of a uh less of a uh one character focused story you know that's what it is. They already said that it's going to be a focus on uh, the actual inner workings of Wakanda. Can you imagine if Marvel just released a documentary on a fake country? <laughs> like Wakanda Forever is just a documentary. and it, it just You know how in the office they do the cutaways? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine that? That would be hilarious. I'd actually love that. Like, that'd be one of the best jokes. I'm sure people who love Black Panther would be pissed. I like Black Panther a lot. I'd be a little upset that we didn't get, like, some, some closure there. But, uh... Yeah. Man, would it be fucking hilarious if they're like, here's a two-hour documentary on this fake country in Africa that is very sci-fi. So they can actually do that, though, because if they you think about it, the camera, the camera will be from a... Watch it. Dude, like, the camera will be from a first-person point of view, right? Mm -hmm. So you are that person, and then you can have <laughs> that like person a get... It's film. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like it's, it'll be like Cloverfield, essentially. Mm -hmm. That'd be funny. I'd, and... I'd love that. Yeah. 
But for me, uh, the reason I'm not excited for that, I love Black Panther. I, I think they should just straight up recast, if I'm being honest. I understand that the actor was phenomenal, and I do think he was great. But his legacy is not Black Panther. This man has a legacy of many characters that he played, yeah. right? So that's like saying nobody's allowed to play any of those other characters. Shame that uh, he, uh, he got a little shit on at the awards, by the way. Yeah. Um, I'm glad the act. I can't think of the actors. He's a fucking famous actor too, and I can't think of who who won. Um, he played Silence of the Lambs. That guy. Yeah, yeah, I know who you're talking about. Yeah. I just don't know him by name. I, I can't think of his name right now. I'm sorry, but uh, he did a really good job of being like, "Hey, Chadwick was incredible, and like I wanted him to win. So yeah. like, he was an amazing actor, and we really lost a good one there." And, and, like, he did a really good job of being, like, humble and saying, like, yeah, no, that that's rough. <laughs> I, yeah. Yeah. No, it's, it's, I get that it's tough. And especially because, like, Black Panther was phenomenal. But I don't think the character needs to die with the person. Especially because the writers and the directors work so hard on these stories. Mm -hmm. And uh, as a filmmaker myself, I see how much one tiny change can affect an entire story. So I can only imagine a death to a castmate. And I think that to honor him, I think that having somebody come in and play the character and extend his legacy of T'Challa's character will be phenomenal. And I think, I know that a lot of people with the multiverse theory, a lot of people are saying that they should just introduce Killmonger, but get rid of the hair, let him have short hair, get rid of the facial hair and give him like a beard instead of like the cut off mustache that yeah. he had and get rid of all the body tattoos and have him have the accent so that it feels like somebody different. I have heard people say, uh, why if, what if, um, Bucky becomes white wolf, which in the comics, if you guys didn't know, white wolf has nothing to do with Bucky. It's T'Challa's like adopted brother who's super evil. Um, and then you have people want Shuri to become, or the, the leader of the Dora Milaje become uh, Black Panther. I honestly, at this point, I brought this up. Um, let me look up to make sure I don't get the name wrong. I wouldn't be surprised if we if, if we got a stand-in. Because T'Challa was the stand-in for T'Chaka. T'Challa wasn't king. Yeah. He technically didn't have the title of Black Panther. He wore the suit because his father was too old. Right. So like, here's my casting for Black Panther that I think it will kill it. A lot of people won't agree because he's more of a comedy act. Mm -hmm. Marlon Wyan. I think he can kill Black Panther. Like the role. Um, Marlon. Wyan. Do you know who that is? Okay. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, Sean Wyan, him or his brother. I think that uh, Marlon will. Uh, he could do the accent. He's a phenomenal actor. Now, he normally does comedy. I don't know if anyone could take him seriously with all the movies he's been in. That's the thing. I know. But uh, I said the same thing about Paul Rudd, though. Now, granted, his character's also, like, very goofy. Yeah, I was going to say, MCU. his character's still kind of comic relief. Um, but uh, I do think that he can do a phenomenal... I think that uh, Marlon would do a great... Uh, Black Panther, he can do the accent very easily because I see him do a similar accent in a different movie. Okay. He has the physique already. Um, he's a phenomenal actor, uh, and he's done he uh, the last couple of years. He's done a couple serious movies, yeah. so he's my choice if I had to choose. I know he's not a popular one, uh, but I think that the actor himself. I, I generally think I just think that Tashel is. I want to know what the rest of the story is. And, like, you can tell that that scene in uh, Captain America and the Winter Soldier mm -hmm. was supposed to be T'Challa and not the Dora Milaje. Easily. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, not, yeah. That scene just didn't feel right at all. Yeah, it was weird. It was, uh... It, like, it was cool. I don't want to sit here and say it wasn't cool, but it, it definitely felt like the power that would have been if, uh, if T'Challa was there. Yeah. Of, like, him just showing up. And him being like, you know, yeah, no, absolutely. Also, they have a picture together, him and Boston. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I just saw it. Chadrick and uh, Marlon took a picture on the Today Show. Um, um, I, th I think he can do, uh, honestly, uh, I hate saying it, but it's true. I do think that he can nail the part. He'll never be the original. No, no, we won't. But get he can extend chat. the legacy of the character. Yeah, we won't 
We won't get another Chadwick. Yeah. And he's also he was in talk with playing a character in Marvel, by the way. They want him to play Plastic Man and he said no. And to turn down keep in mind that turning down a superhero movie, you're turning down several million dollars. So you're, yeah, and you're turning down several uh several movies probably. Yeah, like he's been turning down movies left and right lately, and he recently turned down playing Plastic Man, which I get why you would. <laughs> but I mean, it just the thought of that, that that being a possibility makes me very excited. I know, like I say, he's not going to be everybody's first choice, but mm-hmm. I think that if they give him a chance, they can definitely, uh, he might, ha- he might, he might do good enough. Mm-hmm. Uh, you want to stop right here, Connor? Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. Okay. Yeah. We can, we'll probably talk more next week since like, if I'm being honest, we didn't, we barely scratch the surface of phase four because yeah. there's so much more. Yeah. But, guys, thank you so much for listening to us, talking about our nerdy stuff that we love. Marvel, of course. <laughs> um, if if you love Captain America, you hit that like button. And if you don't, then uh, I don't know why you're here. Uh, <laughs> like always, guys, keep it tight, keep it light, like a nun's butthole. Peace. Oh, we switched it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs>